Hi guys, welcome to CA Inter. We are doing a chapter of labor costing. We are trying to cover all the MCQs which are there in the module first and then all others. I am CA Anu Jalota. Uh, our aim is that you get complete marks in MCQ. So therefore for you getting all India rank is not a problem in case that's your aim and at least the passing is going to be quite easy with you getting complete marks in MCQs. We are saying logic of everything. We are not trying to say this is the correct answer. We are trying to be saying why this is the correct answer. In case you are interested in our regular course or crash course, I advise you all to read the description below for the enrollments. So let's start it off. Today what we all have, employees cost, okay, includes wages and salaries, okay, B, allowances and incentives, okay, C, payment for overtime and D, all of the above. Now direct labor cost, even if you have done your cost sheet in a proper way, it will include wages and salaries for sure, a workers will be paid the wages or salaries. Then they'll be given, say, the transport allowance and they'll be given incentives. In case you are efficient, we'll pay you bonus. So therefore, part B is also correct. Part C, in case the worker has to work beyond the normal time, we will pay him for overtime. So even that is nothing but our labor cost only. So therefore, A, B and C, all of them are included as part of employees cost only. So answer over here, without me asking you, it's very simple, is going to be answer D. That should be the correct answer. Yeah, that's the one. Thank you.